Jenny Fick, May is Stroke Awareness Month. I sat down with St. Vincent Healthcare's Stroke Coordinator to learn what can be done to lower your risk for strokes. A stroke occurs when a clot gets stuck in an artery in the brain and, and then denies nutritious blood flow to everything that's beyond itself. Almost like having a plug in an irrigation ditch in a field. That field then doesn't get irrigated while that part of the brain doesn't get any blood flow either. Those with an irregular heartbeat, diabetes, high cholesterol, and high blood pressure are more likely to have a stroke. Smokers and those who are inactive greatly increase their risk. Exercise will lower your blood pressure. Exercise will lower your blood cholesterol. Exercise will help you better control your blood sugar if you're diabetic. Most people can't smoke and walk at the same time. Stress can also contribute to the chance of stroke. So a stress response, a fear response, drives up blood pressure. And um, if blood pressure is a leading cause of stroke, it's not so much one particular stressful episode as it is a day in and day out inability to find relief. How will you know if you're having one? Um, stroke usually happens in one place in the brain. That one place in the brain has a job that it does. So, so stroke is in general manifested by a, what's called a focal deficit, one arm one leg, one arm and one leg, one half of the face, the inability to talk all of a sudden. And let me emphasize the, emphasize the suddenness of the event as well. It's usually a boom event all of a sudden. Why are strokes so debilitating? When you hurt brain, you're hurting 40, 50 years of learning, lots of disconnections of wires, things that are very specific to you as a person. And so that recovery is very slow. So, Listen to your body. If you experience symptoms, get to the hospital. Time is brain. Time is brain. The longer the amount of time that that clot is stuck in place, um, the more brain tissue is affected by the stroke. And the more brain tissue that is affected, the greater the depth of disability the person will experience, at least short term. All right. And I suffer from migraines, which is something that she also said is something that young women especially should be aware of. Talk to their doctors and just see where you stand kind of on all of the things that she spoke to us about. So it looks like just, I guess, being aware of your stroke symptoms is very important.